Well, I guess I have done so many remixes in the past 10 years that um, for some people maybe that's my first daytime job, you know, you know a remixer. <laughs> but um, I guess strictly speaking is just one of the things that I have done and I am doing. But uh, you're right, I do produce you know, for a movie and I tour, I do several things, I'm not just a remixer. Well, um, it's not just musical, for example, it's um, you can remix any creative work by anyone. Um, but in terms of um, us working as Zion Train, doing a remix of a song from someone, uh, to me it's the remixing the inspiration that you get from the song. Um, so for example, if I have a Mad Professor song um, that he'd said, do a remix of, um, it would have to be something that uh, had some inspiration and then you just take that inspiration. It might be a musical part from the song, maybe the vocal or the bass line or something. Well, you know, as you carry on in the business, people know you and you know people. We know big people, small people. We know rich people, poor people. Uh, and my relationship with pop artists, it's there. I have no special thing. I don't just meet people because they are rich or because they are famous, you know. I work with all sorts of people, you know. I try not to work with them because they have a status or something. It's interesting from um from a musical or technical perspective to work with certain music recorded in certain ways for certain people. And personally, I'm a, I'm a fan of studio technology and audio and the treatment of this. So um, I found some pleasure purely in this, um, as well as what this sounds like. So um, from that perspective, I've quite enjoyed that work. But again, it's not the most interesting work in the world. Um, I'd much rather um, make music or remix music that has given me some inspiration or play music to people to hopefully lend them some inspiration. And in a way it was a very um, good educational experience um, because we were, we were working with a system that now um, we understand and we can um, see through in effect and we've been on the inside and we're able to see the way these the people work um, for example the payments to radio stations this sort of music business you know. um, so it was a, a good lesson but um, personally I wouldn't ever do it again with any music that I cared about um, that was coming from mine and my friends hearts because um, to see music treated in such a crass manner just for money is disappointing and when it's your own music that you have some emotional attachment to it's quite saddening. Um, if, uh, if I was Elton, Elton John I wouldn't worry you know because it's just banging it out um, but uh, I think it's, um, it's potentially a good way to feed the pop world and the pop circuit because it's just this huge machine but it's no different to selling shoes or selling cars and that's quite um, dehumanising for music. And, um, then we just asked him if we could compile the best of his work from our perspective and he, went, he was uh, cool with that as you know, he's, a very, uh, uh, he's open to new ideas as a professor um, and it was a very good demonstration of how um, independent companies can really help each other and um, um, just help keep the crea creativity up because we inspire each other creatively, um, I'm absolutely sure, um, but also we help each other economically um, because uh, if uh, we do shows together then 
there is more money in the show for our two companies and that's a reality of our existence that um, none of us are very rich people the, the way we've chosen to live our lives musically and in, in the business world means we'll never be rich people um, so these linking up in these ways are very important the um, Mad Professor CD on our label was very good for our label um, because it introduced lots of old Mad Professor fans to the works on Universal Lake but it was also good for my professor because there are Universal Oak fans who don't really listen to other dub music, for example, and now they're introduced to professor. So, very important links, um, like with yourself and, um, and the setup you have here, and the links you're trying to establish with different international people and people inside Italy. It's all about inspiring each other and keeping each other up. Um, it's like um, it's like we're all linked uh, in some way. And if we strengthen the links, it strengthens us all. And if we forget the links, it weakens us all. So, you know, it's, it's, it's an important uh, um, sort of bed upon which we sit. Dovita. Dovita is an Italian um, dub vibration. And it's good to see pockets like this, with this spirit, in different parts of the world, like in Italy. It's necessary because they will influence other people to come and join in and take it a different height, you know? We need this kind of enthusiasm. Energy and the desire to create, that means that you will. So, then you just have to wait and see what happens from, from that point. <laughs> Dumital is the oasis in the Italian desert. This is necessary. Now I know they are the treasures 